Hi, I'm here to show you about our free plugin for WooCommerce that allows you to export orders and products. Um, here is the plugin inside the WordPress repository. You can see it here. We've just released a new version um, a little uh, under a day ago. As you can see, uh, we've got about 4,000 folks actually using our plugin. Um, so it's it's uh, being used by a bunch of people. Um, once you have it installed inside your WooCommerce store, simply go to WooCommerce and you'll see Order Export Plus. If you take a click on that, it will take you to the plugin. Incidentally, we have a pro version. Um, it allows you to access uh, different types of data, whether you're looking at uh, customer data, coupons, and a whole bunch of other things. Um, it will also allow you to schedule your exports so if you wanted to run an export at the end of every day or if you wanted to run an export at the beginning of the month or whatever at the end of the week uh, whatever works for you and you can have that emailed to you and that will arrive in your email box so you uh, your email inbox sorry so you'll have that file available to do whatever you want to do if you wanted to maybe send it to a drop shipper or you have someone fulfilling your product or whatever you need to do um, you can do that in addition you can also get access to what we call metadata so these are other pieces of data that are typically stored about your order or your customers sometimes you might have plugins that are doing that um, in the pro version you can get access to that as well um, so uh, you can you can get access to all those fields so um, makes it a very rich experience um, incidentally if you are interested there will be a link in the show notes below um, and if you are interested just send in your email here in the uh, free plugin um, and we'll shoot you a discount for 20% that you can get off your purchase price. Okay, I'm just going to run you through a quick export. Um, our most popular export is uh, people are exporting orders. So I'm just going to run through that. Um, as you can see, there's a whole bunch of fields you can export. Some that are available in the pro version. As I said, there's also access to, to metadata and other plugin data in there. Um, if you'd like to change the column header that appears in the export, you can just simply uh, you know, do that here. Um, change the uh, the words on any of these that you want to, and that's what will appear in the uh, CSV file that gets created. You can choose to filter your data. You might want to just pick some particular date range, or just pick pick a particular set of order statuses. Maybe you just wanted everything that's refunded. Maybe you want to just get everything that's on hold or things that have failed. Whatever works for you. Um, as I said in the pro version, you can schedule it so it will uh, automatically get run and sent to your uh, email inbox, which is great. Um, so once you've decided the fields you want, we've put a little helper links in here. So if you just wanted to pick one or two, or if you want to pick everything, um, you can do that. Um, we just hit export. It take a couple of seconds as it runs the export. There we go. Um, we'll open that up in Excel. Um, couple of things of note as you can see there's the column name that we entered um, let's take a look over here and as you can see this particular product that's part of this order had some product variations so you can get that information out um, if you've got different sizes maybe you've got t-shirts in different sizes or uh, you sell surfboards in different lengths or different colored uh, widgets whatever your products are you've got that in there um, this order I'm just gonna highlight it it's uh, uh, actually, this order contains two products, so the uh, the customer bought two items as part of this order. As you can see, each item uh, shows up on a separate line. Um, on the pro version, you have the choice. You can have each item show up on a separate line, or it will put them in columns. So as you get more products, it will just add them columns going out to the right here. So uh, um, that's another choice, depending on what your need is, and that's typically if you're sending the data somewhere and you need it in a particular format, it lets you do that. Um, so that's about it. A great, nifty, little free and easy way to get your data out of WooCommerce uh, quickly, easily and for free. Uh, the links are in the show notes below. Um, so if you want to take a look at those and uh, you can have, see where the pro version is and also get a direct link to the, uh, the free version as well. Thank you for watching.